Our second question this afternoon comes from Mark K um, in New York City. And he asks, he has also an example sentence, and I'll, I'll read it out to you, and then I'll, I'll show it to you. He asks in the sentence uh, below, uh, do we use the, the verb were or was? And the sentence is, the 1930s to 1950s was or were the heyday of the industrial, industrialist soap opera story, be it a novel or movie form. So let me just get that um, sentence up so you can see uh, what we're talking about. So here's the question, or here is the sentence that Mark sent. The 1930s to 1950s was or were, question mark, the heyday of the industrialist soap opera story, be it a novel or movie form. So uh, here we have a wonderful question because we normally think of was going with a singular subject and were going with a plural subject. The 1930s to 1950s seems to be a plural subject, seems to be a number of, of, of years, so don't you use were? Well, in fact, this, in this case we use was, and the reason is this. We're talking about a single period of time. The period of the 1930s to 1950s was the heyday of the industrialist soap opera story, be it in novel or movie form. We don't, we don't have the words here, the period of the 1930s to 1950s, but that is the sense of the, the phrase. That's the, the implied meaning. And so if we think of it that way, and we know we're talking about a single thing, then we know that we need a singular uh, verb, in this case, was. Similarly, uh, there's an example in the basic cozy punctuation course where we talk about what, uh, how we speak about money. So if I had $5 in my pocket, I could say uh, $5 is in my pocket. Now you might say that doesn't make sense because if you have five dollars you have more than one so you have a plural so shouldn't you use five dollars are in my pocket but here too the convention in english with uh, amounts is because we're talking about a single amount we use the singular form of the verb therefore i uh five dollars is in my pocket in other words the amount of five dollars is in my pocket. So similarly for that sentence that Mark shared, the that time period, even though it encompasses a number of years, is a single period. So we use the singular form of the verb. So that's an answer to Mark's question. Mm -hmm.